I think we all heard of a hostile work environment, and which is described as a form of harassment. It is demonstrated by such severe and pervasive conduct that permeates the work environment and interferes with an employee's ability to perform his or her job. I got that from the internet, so it must be true. <laughs> it must be correct. It's from the internet. So, no, but it is true. It is a hostile work environment. Uh, and the reason I brought that up is because, you know, we all have been in a hostile work environment. But, as far as my experience, unless you are working in human resources or administration or an executive position, nobody gives a shit about you being in a hostile work environment. It might be the law. It might be against the law. It might be um, something that you can sue about. Something you can complain and sue about or whatever, you know. You, you, you have a right not to work in the hostel, work environment, and they have a responsibility, legally, to um, take steps to ensure that employees are not um, uh, in, a, in a hostile work environment, <laughs> for lack of better terminology. But, um... They don't care about all that. They don't give a shit. <laughs> Human resources don't give a fuck about you being in a hostile work environment. Why? Because that just leads to you leaving faster. You see, the minute you're hired, Human Resources is trying to figure out how to get rid of you. They want you gone before that first raise. Because, you know, to them, you know, that they're losing money. They can hire somebody else. For the wages that you started at, and just keep the turn, keep the table rolling. But um, as far as you know, the hostile work environment. Yeah, if you're just a uh, you know just a regular worker, a little, you know, just a regular worker, you're not in administration or anything. Uh, they don't they don't care how bad it is for you. They don't care about no hostile work environment. The one percent of what you go through, if it happens to them, one little incident, they are they they are suing, they're complaining, people are getting fired. You know, it actually happened in one, at the place one of the place, the place I worked at. It actually happened with this dude because he was mean. <laughs> he was mean, so they got rid of him. They fired him. And people were getting paid left and right for the suffering that he put them through. The pain and suffering. You know? <laughs> this is, oh, this is our, this is, this is a government job. So this is our tax money, okay? Going to this. These people were getting paid because the guy was mean to them. And meanwhile, in the, the part of the organization I worked at, we had this guy that was a sexual predator. <laughs> he was bullying people. He was practically enslaving people. <laughs> he was uh, insulting. He was hostile. He was mean and angry. And, and he was uh, allowed to do whatever he wanted to do. That was like nine years of pure hell working for this troll <laughs> right um yeah so the people were you know being manipulated you know if they didn't do what he said if they didn't i mean he was attack them he would take them off the schedule you wouldn't see them for like six months <laughs> uh, that what well, that wasn't a hostile work environment but somebody in their area hollers at somebody or raises his voice 
Oh shit, the shit done hit the fan. Whoa, this guy is mean. He's making a hostile work environment, pay everybody a million dollars, and fire him. Well, actually, just let him just let him retire and give him a nice gigantic separate package. So, <laughs> that actually happened. But you know, it's the rules are supposed to apply to everybody. It's that the rules are not just for uh, one sector, but you got these um, HR people, and you're saying, "Hey, yeah, yeah, you guys apply the rules where you want to." You know, so that's what happens. They're applying it the way they want to. And if HR people are like, fuck everybody except for us and the people we hang with, you know, if we want we want everybody to uh, to um, treat us like we're executives too. <laughs> so that means that means we have to turn our nose up to everybody who's not an executive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all you get to hear. Here's the human resources. There you are. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true though. The, the, the people that I work for over the years, first the human resource was just human resources. They were like, uh, kind of like uh, middle management. They were like helping helpers. They helped the employees too at first. Then all of a sudden they became administration, you know, over a period of years, you know. And that, that helping turned into hurting. <laughs> it turned into, oh, you have a problem with your supervisor? Well, fuck you, because the supervisor's always right. <laughs> turned into that shit, you know? Um, so, yeah. As far as a hostile workplace, it's a great rule, a great concept. But who is it really working for? They're not working for the people it's supposed to work for. <laughs> She's getting is this something else that the that the that the, uh, the, the uppity people are using to shank the system. <laughs> so there you go. So next time you feel like you know you're being. Um, Bullied at work and being somebody's harassing you, unless it's something politically it has a political tie in at the time, you know. <laughs> Don't go to human resources. <laughs> <laughs> All right, because they don't care. Human resources, the devil.